Hello everyone and welcome to another World War Z video guide. My name is Daniel Triple Eight and today we start the first level in Tokyo Setting Sun with a guide of how you can solo it using only the bots. Before we start discussing the recommended classes and all the other details, you will find here on the left the first potential built in charge location and it's probably one of the, uh, the fastest you will be able to find in a level. So keep in mind on searching for that. Let's continue with the details about the level since this may be considered by some people one of the hardest overall and I have to honestly disagree apart from the last swarm that is a little uh, lag factor uh, depending on the type of defenses you find you may have easier time and especially since we are going to solo it using only the bots and we cannot rely them so much during the swarm attacks my default choice about the classes is the exterminator because thanks to the extra damage he deals during the swarm attacks and to his high survivability thanks to the clo uh, clock and dagger plus the high utility we can ex explore here we will use a lot of defense especially during the last part and combat engineer will help us a lot during uh, those times we already have passed the second potential bridge in such location and overall the first part is that if with most missions a stealth part you just have to follow a specific route I like to do. Uh, this way you will be able to find all the potential uh, resources for the medkit, for the supply bags, for uh, any tier 2 weapons. And there is a high chance, especially if you take this route here to the left and you will uh, search the corpses of the soldiers. Uh, do note, uh, I have mentioned it probably before, Near the soldiers there is a spawn point potential for loot, either secondary, primary weapons, heavy weapons, etc. And there is a high chance for here to find good quality even secondary weapons, meaning the grenade launcher or the flare gun. And you should definitely use those. As I told before, I don't use them in my guides because they are extremely real to find and they can be game changing. And I would like to show you that you do not have to find them in order to complete the levels, but if you find them during your gameplay, you should definitely use them. As you navigate through the rest of the first part, as always, be aware of the lurkers, they can jump from location to location, they are usually in some corners, and regarding their equipment, it's not mandatory to find it here to weapon, you don't have to worry, you will find at least one or two, maybe sometimes three options as you navigate further for tier two weapons, and in the last part, there is a guarantee to find at least two tier 3 weapons. Uh, no, sorry, three tier, tier 3 weapons. So you don't have to worry so much about searching here. Here on the left that we passed, there is always a guarantee for a heavy weapon. But we have the Super RPG that we do not need to replace. Here on the left, there is a potential location for a bridge in charge. I think there is a third bridge in charge location. And here is when we navigate through the lever, two more potential bridge in charge location, either here on the left uh, for the, on the corpse of the soldier, you can check it by pinging the location next to his uh, right leg, or on top of the track uh, here. When you start to escort the bus, just stay close enough for the bus to just start for moving forward and let it grab all the aggro from the Zeke. That's a very huge, ad a huge advantage here, as long as you remain um, a little further from the bus, all the aggro will go to, the, to that bus, to the left and right. And apart from the special Zik, sometimes the lurkers that can jump ahead can go to the bus, sometimes not, but all the other special zombies, the gas bugs, the bulls and uh, the infectors always charge to you, so you have to be aware of them. And here there are locations when you can shoot some barrels, set them on fire, and if you can do so, I recommend to do, uh, as they slow down the Zeke and they kill them. And you saw that we passed another bridge in charge location. Regarding the bulls, just let them charge the bots and you can melee them from behind, you don't have to worry so much about them. And a screamer is always a top priority, unless the bus is overwhelmed and then you get a timer. And if you do not kill every single Zeke uh, from the left and right of the bus, then you automatically lose the level. So I do recommend to prioritize the Zeke as you move forward. Do not let to overwhelm the bus and don't let the screamer scream too many times and overwhelm you with 
too many random Zik and special Zik. And that's how we move forward until we reach the first one. And now some points. You do not care to heal the bots here and um, even if they die here, as soon as the bus uh, reaches its destination, the bots will spawn, so we don't care. And second, we don't care because we will do a specific tactic that we will kill most of the bots. I will explain a little bit uh, later. Uh, you saw a bomber, that's also a high priority. Sometimes they will spawn close to you, so you have to be extra careful when you hear the ticking bomb uh, to be aware where he spawns and to kill him as soon as possible because it's almost a guarantee wipe if he comes close and the bots that uh, just shoot him. As I was saying about the tactic for the first swarm, we will not use our pretty charge. We do not care so much about defenses. The only defenses you can apply here are the barbed wires that can help you a little bit. Apart from that, the heavy machine gun is probably not worth it. Um, sometimes I don't use them at all. And if you find a uh, not a turret, definitely save it for the last part. Otherwise, just try to save a barbed wire or a heavy machine gun, although they are not priorities for the last uh, for the last swarm. As I told you, the auto turret is the highest priority, and only save this one. If you find two auto turrets, uh, I do recommend to not bother using one of those because it will most likely make noise when you are in stealth mode, spawn more zik, and be more of a hassle than a help during the last uh, this swarm attack. Okay, so the problem here is that we have to kill the swarm because they will charge to the to the bus, and if they overwhelm it, you will get once again the timer, and you will definitely lose. Unfortunately, the bots, as always, will take um, preset locations that are not very helpful and they will most likely die because they do not move or if a, if a precious uh, infector just uh, drops in the middle of the swarm, they will just have to charge and melee them and cause the chain reaction. One bot, one bot goes down, the other goes to raise him and etc. All the bots are dead before you know it. So we have to take a little bit advantage of, um, of ourselves and a little be, be a little more creative to use a specific tactic I utilized in order to have the bots ready after we deal with the first swarm and be able to deal with the first, with the first swarm without uh, so much problem. And this is how it works. We start applying the defenses. As I told you, the barbed wire are the best, especially since they help you deal with the idle zig that will come in probably from the front and you can check here in the location because there are usually some defenses here two weapons, medkits, etc. After that we will kill two of the bots, leave only one alive just in case to help us deal with some idle zik and not die. Before you do so make sure you have checked all the locations for the defense kits, leave as I told you the auto turret for the last part and only apply the barbed wires and uh, make sure you're using the best tier 2 weapon. My best choice here is the tier 2 shotgun, not from the Hellraiser, uh, from the Prestige Hellraiser, the normal fully upgraded tier 2 shotgun. It's surprising well because most of the Zik will be close by when you kill them and you can kill them, kill many Zik uh, very easily using the shotgun and very efficiently. If you're lucky enough to find an advanced combat weapon, also use it during this uh, level, uh, during uh, this um, this part. But ditch it for the last swarm. It's surprisingly not as good for the last swarm, but very good on this part. Of course, um, as all tier three weapons are good, apart from the crossbow, which is the worst uh, the worst choice for all the level. Once you are ready, move here on this location, so all the zig will come from the front. And as soon as the respawn timer for the bots reaches 110 seconds, run and activate the first switch in order to activate the swarm. And then you have to move in the exact location I will uh, you will see here. Uh, you can mark it in the um, red smudge here or the furthest uh, on top of the yellow line when, where you will be able to activate the swarm attack. As soon as you can, uh, activate the swarm attack and we, we do not yet start moving uh, behind. You have just to be aware on your rear. Sometimes the special Zeke will spawn from behind and uh, you have to be extra careful. And you, we stay here because here on the left there is a very high chance for a screamer to spawn. And when uh, where we move we, will, we won't be able to reach him. So kill the screamer and then retreat 
behind the bus, which is a safe location, that the Zeke will ignore you and we have they will go and overwhelm the bus and you can just start picking them off from here. The bot will definitely die but we do not care about it. As soon as the bus is overwhelmed with too many Zeke, use one of your uh, RPG, uh, RPG ammo. Don't go too close because it deals an extreme amount of damage and you will take also damage. And after that just continue to pick off the Zeke, they will ignore you. Uh, you have the Cloak and Dagger, even the Special Zeke will go to the bus here because thanks to your Cloak and Dagger you will receive the masking effect each time you kill 15 Zeke. So just use your tier 2 weapon uh, as the Zeke approaches the bus. As soon as they overwhelm it, then use your uh, Super RPG. If there is uh, an extra heavy weapon here, you can use it, but usually your tier 2 weapon is more than enough to finish off the Zeke, especially if it's a good one. If you have, as I told you, the shotgun, an AK or a sporting carbine, uh, it's quite easy to deal with the rest of the Zeke. Uh, by the time you will deal with all the Zeke, the two bots will spawn and will, uh, will be able to accompany you as you approach uh, you for the next part. A note for those that are still not very confident on dodging the bulls, uh, as soon as the bull fixes on you and starts charging, if you go in an elevated space here, they will charge to the wall and you will be able to just, um, to just kill them from behind. Uh, the reason we do this type of tactic, uh, once again, we have to prioritize to kill the screamer here, otherwise he will constantly spawn zombies and sometimes from behind, making things a little more difficult. And in case we do not kill the bots prior, they will all die here unless you will be able to kill the swarm. But as not guarantee, sometimes you do not have the firepower or special Zeke will spawn from behind, from right and left, bombers, and you will not have the time to deal with everything. This is the safer and probably 99% guarantee as soon as you are a little familiar with the tactic and you do not have to worry about anything else. Uh, but the bots, if they die, uh, as soon as you have to proceed to the next part, you will all the bots will be dead and you have to accompany the bus alone, which is a little harder if you are not used to playing all alone without any bots. That's why you can just take advantage of the timer, kill the bots, wait around 110 seconds, that's for me. If you, ta if you take a little longer to kill the, the swarm, just activate it a little later, or if you kill it faster, just activate it a little faster. Uh, in that way we will have two bots accompany us as we finish off the swarm, making things quite easier after, uh, after, defe after defending the bus. Sometimes we will not get lucky and there is a worst case scenario, a screamer that we will not be able to reach even from the original position will spawn. In that case you ignore him, here you see how far he is, but after you defeat all the Zeke, I do recommend to kill him because he continues to, sp to spawn special Zeke and other Zeke as long as you even accompany the bus. So after you defeat the swarm, just go and finish off the screamer so it won't be a nuisance. And you just continue here as you see the both of the bots spawned and the bot that was with us during the swarm attack is dead. And here we take advantage once again for, for the bus. We just uh, walk near the bus and let the Zeke overwhelm it. Sometimes the bots are do not cooperate and uh, stay a little closer to the Zeke. Just try to lure them further so they won't get any aggro and let the bus get all the aggro. Take advantage of, uh, as we used in the first part, to kill the Zeke. And don't be afraid to use your Molotovs here on uh, the spawn locations. It will make things easier, especially for the special Zeke. If you burn a bull as he approaches, he will uh, be dealt a lot of, lot of damage, making it much easier for you to finish him off. The most challenging thing for this part are the bulls, that's why you have to utilize either uh, a heavy weapon you have found or the bots that have respawned, they use them as bait and melee the bulls from behind. Do not worry if the bots uh, go down, you will receive the masking effect thanks to the ghost uh, talent and uh, don't worry if you stay alone after you have killed everything here, the only thing you have to be uh, aware are uh, some lurkers that are from the level and after that you will find a door and once you pass the door all your bots will spawn so just be aware from the lurkers if they catch you while you are alone uh, you will lose so just be a little careful 
as you proceed for the next part just search for, search for the locations to find uh, med kits supply bags heavy weapons and here there is a worst case scenario as we are now a screamer has spawned and it's in the location we it's not worth to just run to reach him just uh, kill as many zik as you can the soldier here will help a little bit uh, more as bait other than other thing wait for one of your bots to spawn and just move inside here the, all your bots will spawn and you just have to hide uh, here in between until they go to stealth mode but be extra careful in case Zeke attack do not stay and defend here it's a death trap the Zig will overwhelm you just go here as I pointed on the left and right it's a more open space that you will be able to pick up the Zig from left and right or jump here on the right uh, on front uh, it's better to be in a little more open space and not get pincer attack from uh, uh, from the Zik. Even if a screamer does not spawn, sometimes Zik will spawn from uh, from uh, here, from the door and from this left you see. Just uh, wait with all your bots, kill as many Zik as you can. You can use even uh, the heavy machine guns, although they do not cover all the space. This heavy machine gun covers uh, one spawn point from the Zik and the other heavy machine gun covers the other and you can use your molotov grenades and uh, your, your weapon and they have machine gun to finish off as many zik as you can and you will find an opportunity that you will be able to move through the door and do the same thing as we did unless a screamer once again spawns sometimes you can get unlucky and when a screamer spawns he will be in a place that you will not be able to reach him here you have to just go back from where the bus came it's honestly not worth it in that case, that's why I, I rushed here. Uh, you have to open the door, kill the Z, all the Zig you can, and as soon as they're all dead, you have to move inside in order to despawn the Screamer and um, get an extra chance to continue for the next part. Here I pointed before another potential bridge in charge location uh, that you can find unless you were unlucky. And in this part, you just have to find... Uh, the resupply stock to get your, your first tier 3 weapon, unless it's a crossbow, do not get it. Uh, the crossbow, as I told you, it's the worst possible uh, choice. And uh, here you just prioritize to move as fast as you can. You do not have to search the whole level. Only go to here to the left, it's the fastest way possible. Uh, here on the left you can find um, a either heavy weapon or a supply crate. And here on the right you will find a chance for a supply bag. Most of the times you will be on stealth mode, so you do not have to worry. You just uh, rush through it, kill the Zik, and just be careful here sometimes, although in my many tries I didn't find this chance to show you. Claymores may spawn, so be extra careful. If you press Claymores, you will instantly die, and uh, you have to be a little more careful. And before you pass this point, here there is a last chance to reset your bot's health. Sometimes, without doing any noise, a screamer may spawn. It's one of the worst case scenarios. In that case, just rush forward, kill the screamer, dodge the special Zik, uh, hide behind the cars, hang behind cover to dodge the bulls. If all of your bots die, do not worry, you will receive the stealth and ignore them and just move forward. Sometimes, and even worst case scenario, auto turrets will spawn, enemy auto turrets, just try destroying them or use them to defend. Remain here so the bots will not spawn and kill any zig that may come. Usually a few zig may come to, uh, that may follow you. Uh, one or two bulls, just be extra careful. Do, if you have used a heavy weapon against the bull, if you're not um, familiar with the dodging. Otherwise, if you can, just touch him and finish him off. Just do not, do not get past this point because your bots will spawn and you will get the timer to apply defenses and our timer is very limited and we need to do some specific things because this is the most important part of the mission. First things first, go here on the left, there is a chance without triggering the other uh, timer to find a defense kit and there is a guarantee for a supply crate. After that, check what type of defense is there I pinged, there is always one defense um, defense kit here and then you just have to move forward. If you have used the bridge in charge here and uh, just search for defenses and ignore all other defenses apart from the voltage grids that are the topest priority. Here you can close the door, here on the right sometimes there is a bridge in charge although it's not worth the time to search and do it, especially if you find the voltage grid 
and you have to apply here two voltage grid. The most important is this one, where some zip may spawn. And in case you find the second, you apply it just um, beside it. Try to kill the Zeke before the soldiers make noise. In that way, you will avoid uh, triggering an attack. The Zeke may spawn from here or from the door we just close. And you sometimes you may be able to do so to avoid uh, the attack before that. Otherwise, just go and defend on the point we, we applied the voltage grid in order to avoid the wipe of the bots because they will not respawn if they die here. Apart from the two voltage grid, the third priority is an auto turret we can apply on top of here. And if we have these three defenses, this is the optimal defenses we can have. Two voltage grids and one auto turret. In case you are lucky and have two voltage grids and have not triggered an attack, move the in the position and move and start the swarm. Uh, in that way, we have not triggered an attack here and we have saved resources. The bots didn't take damage and even all the soldiers below are, are alive, which will help a little bit with, uh, with the swarm. If you are a little familiar with the level, you should know that you can expect between two and three swarm attacks. Each time they target a different gate and the first swarm always targets the first gate, which you have to defend from here. You can use the heavy machine guns and mortar that are uh, pre-placed here, but your tier 3 weapon will be the main source of DPS, since the exterminator is so good with of dealing damage during swarm attacks. And the first choice of uh, using a tier 3 weapon, I suggest the uh, assault shotgun. And the second and th third choice is the fully auto upgraded battle rifle, the tier 3 battle rifle, or the tier 3 bulb up rifle. In case the screamer spawns a little far away, not uh, in uh, a target's way, just ignore him and prioritize the swarm that attacks the gate because you hit a timer and if you do not finish all the zig in the gate, you will automatically lose. Usually, the voltage grid along with the bots are enough to defend here. If they're not, just help them a little bit and uh, with the defense, especially if the bull is here, if you do not kill him as soon as possible, he will destroy your voltage grid and you should prioritize that in order to have your voltage grid. In case you have an auto turret it will make things easier to defend, otherwise you have to help a little bit as you saw the bots with uh, dealing with the Zeke. The second attack is guaranteed to come from the second gate as soon as you finish all the special Zeke and you see the spawn point is here along with the regular Zeke. You should always save at least one uh, Molotov to shoot there because many Zeke will be coming. Use the heavy machine gun if you can, just watch your rear, if too many Zeke come, you will not be able to um, use the heavy machine gun freely, just watch your rear and use your heavy machine gun, otherwise use your tier 3 weapon and or a heavy weapon to deal with the Zeke in, uh, in the gate, although the first swarm that attacks the gate too, there are not so many. And if you deal with the Zeke in the rear using your Molotovs and some of your tier 3 weapon, the heavy machine gun is more than enough to just finish them off without a problem. Especially if all three uh, bots are alive, you don't have to worry, just they will probably cover you as, along with your Molotovs, you won't have any, any problems. As soon as you deal with the gate 2, there is a guarantee for the third attack. The Zeke will be coming again for gate 1. You can use, if you do not have a heavy machine gun, to deal with the Zeke that are coming from afar, a tier 3 weapon that has locking rates from compared to the assault shotgun. Uh, otherwise, when the Zeke come closer, just switch to the assault shotgun. It's much easier, does a lot of damage, and surprisingly can defend the first gate without having to rely on your heavy machine gun. This is the perfect spot to deal with the Zeke. Any Zeke that are coming from on top here, you can kill them. You will receive the cloak and dagger every time you kill 15 Zeke, and that's guaranteed since many will swarm the gate and you will be able to finish them off without having aggro. The bots will draw the rest of the aggro and you will be safe. The only thing you have to be extra careful since the special Zeke will be coming from this uh, uh, on top of this voltage grid. In case a bomber spawns, you have to either finish him off before he uh, climbs, otherwise, try to draw the bots closer to you in order to avoid the explosion and when you need to fire the super RPG, I speak from experience, be careful, a random zig may pop in front of you and that will be the target, the destroying you and the bots along the way, failing the mission just from a random mistake and the simple solution I found to that is 
uh, kill the 15 Zeke using your tier 3 weapon and once you receive the cloak and dagger then switch to your RPG and finish off the swarm uh, in front of you. If a bull uh, breaks this voltage grid you can just replace it in case you have one and that's why we prioritize the bulls to kill them as soon as possible uh, because they, as you saw the bots do not have enough firepower to finish them off and they will uh, break our uh, voltage grids. After you have finished off the Zeke and the gate is safe then you can search for the screamer to finish him off and since I took a little longer here uh, the fourth uh, swarm will not attack the second gate so it was only three swarm attacks sometimes they may be four and the fourth will be coming from the second gate and it's a, a little hard thankfully I had a heavy weapon two molotovs and an almost full tier 3 weapon which will not be a problem just repeat the same process in case the swarm attacks from the second gate as I told you you have to find two voltage grids for in order to have a better chance of success although one voltage grid and one auto turret gives you enough uh, success rate as well uh, and you don't have to give up and with zero voltage grids you will have a little harder time because the bots have a little hard time to defend on top of there and you have to also be aware that the Zika will be coming up, the special Zeke and also deal with the swarm making things extremely difficult and that's why we save the C4 in order to blast the door that you will see here and have an increased success chance to find extra defenses. As I told you, prioritize the voltage grid, apply the auto turret here, it will be extremely helpful during the swarm attacks for this gate. Otherwise, close the door here to prevent the Zeke that will be coming. And there is also a chance to find um, a defense uh, kit inside this door. Just be a little careful, sometimes a lurker may be on the right and in case you go inside the bots may follow and you have to make sure they are all outside and close the door otherwise they will reopen the door and uh, you have uh, to just go and close it or you have just uh, lost the time without any meaning. And that's basically Tokyo 1, as I told you here it's a little bit lag paced although there are so many defenses around the area as you saw, just ignore that's the key, ignore the defenses that are not the priority, find those voltage grids, find those one auto turret if you can, that's why we will blow the door here to increase our chances, apply the proper defenses and defend as I told you, prioritize the swarm and then the screamer, unless the screamer is just in front of you, you can just kill him and you will not have so much problem for your survivability thanks to the cloak and dagger, the Zeke will be most likely ignoring you while you're doing TPS to the swarm and the bots will help you deal with the idle Zeke along with the auto turret if you find it as I told you it's not mandatory the voltage grids will be more than enough to slow them down and for the second gate we utilize the heavy machine gun or if you find uh, heavy weapons there are many heavy weapons scattered around the area in this, uh, in this location by the second gate and here behind the truck sometimes there is defense kit and you just have to memorize a little bit the places and move as fast as you can without uh, losing, uh, losing time. I will leave this try that had optimal defenses, especially the addition of the heavy machine gun that helped a lot for the first gate to see how things were a little easier. Don't forget as always, leave your comments and any other suggestions you have in the section below. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos for the World War Z and other video games. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day. The big one is down. Take a look at this. Found a heavy weapon. They're getting over the gate! All that practice paid off. They're coming from the cargo terminal!